Hello beautiful souls and welcome to Love from Heaven and today Archangel Metatron and our Divine Creator God are stepping forward to assist us and their message today is to remind us to be present and to come back into the present moment that currently in the world we are facing a lot of uncertainty and we do not simply know what lies ahead. I know myself I am guilty of trying to figure out what's going to happen this year when is this lockdown going to finish? When will we be allowed to travel again? When will our freedoms be brought back? When will things go back to some form of new normal or whatever it is? And there's a, there's a kind of unease, there's tension, there's a lot of energy rising in the collective, unhappiness, rage, anger, um, dissatisfaction, impatience, frustration, you know, with the system because people have no money, they have no jobs, their businesses are closed and they're uncertain about the future. There's a lot of fear and uncertainty at the moment. And I know I have been experiencing those energies, uncertainty and fear and praying for, for, for peace, praying for a brighter day in the world. You know, asking God, asking the angelic realm, when are things going to work out here on the earth? When, when are people going to finally figure out that love is the answer? When are we going to see peace and justice and true equality and truth unveiled for humanity because there's so much mistruths and so much injustice and so much misinformation and fighting and wars and information wars and so much, you know, um, mixed messages going on at the moment, which is distorting the whole energy of the collective, con collective conscious. And I tuned in today in Archangel Metatron and God was saying, just take a step back to take every day as it comes to come back into the present moment and to surrender everything to God. God actually never wanted us to figure everything out and what, why everything is breaking down is to help us to come back to God, to come back to our faith because we have over relied on logic. We've been trying to run this world purely from the mind alone, which is only logic. There's no heart centeredness in, in, it, in any of it. And with God, we have to come into the heart. God is all about the heart, not as much about the mind. The mind comes in, but not to the same degree. God wants us to trust, have faith, and to go forward without knowing what lies ahead. And that's the messages that Jesus came to teach humanity about as well, that we don't know what lies ahead. And we're not meant to be caught up in our own individual um, plan of what I want to do, what I want to achieve and just me, me, me and all about ourselves. God wants us to work for the collective, work for God's divine plan and when we all join in and to be part of God's divine plan, that's how we all benefit then as a result. It's a bit like when we say we work as a team or in a work environment, when you all muck in together, you all let come out better at the end, don't you? When you're all trying to work individually in an organization or on a project or in any kind of thing, it's never really very, it's never really productive, it's never really efficient, it's never really profitable. And so the lesson of that is we're meant to come together, we're meant to come together and unite and to be part of God's divine plan for Earth, for humanity, for the universe, so we can all ascend. And through that, by, by partaking that, we have to surrender to God's will. We have to surrender. And we're, we're not going to be like, well, this is what's going to happen next week. This is what's going to happen in six months now. We have to surrender and we have to have faith that God's got us. God is going to guide us. And we have to follow our joy in each moment every day to tune into what brings us joy and to be of service. There's a couple of things to follow our joy and to be of service. I know coming on here brings me so much joy as well as my day job that I try to hold down. I come on here every day to try and uplift humanity, to try and share words of wisdom, to to be of service because if I could just only focus on myself, that won't make, bring me happiness. But I know when I share my, my, my offerings, when I share my heart, when I share my energy with you tuning in, that I am being of service and trying to be of service to God to help more people awaken to peace, to love, to truth, 
to the energies of the angelic realm which will up, who want to uplift us so that is the message from god and message from for you as well to be present to come back into the present moment and to surrender everything to god and the divine that try not to think you have to have it all figured out and because you don't have it all figured out that could bring nervousness or anxiety just allow that surrender that to god and be like okay i don't know what lies ahead but i'm surrendering that to god and i'm going to be of service to god by sharing my energy sharing my you know skills my talents whatever they may by being kind caring and loving towards others and showing up for humanity that way so i hope that resonates with you and just to remind you all as well avail of my free gift on my bio above on the link above this video and you can also message me if you'd like to get an angel reading or healing uh, which with one card or three cards or if you'd get, like to get a one-to-one -one angelic healing session for an hour or also if you'd like to purchase uh, a unicorn attunement and healing private message me and also i have a recent video on the forgiveness process with the archangels to support you in finding forgiveness for yourself and those in your life who have hurt you so if you'd like to learn more about any of these send me a private message sending you lots of love and blessings